Woke up this morning with a text from her teacher being like, just kidding, don't come to school today. <laughs> it's just hard to trust people. Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven. Good morning. Welcome to my first official mom vlog of 2022. I'm just gonna be doing a spend the day with me mom vlog. You know the vibes. Bougie, get your butt out the camera. I wanted to obviously vlog, but also do kind of a bit of a life update. I did take the whole month of January off from posting. I was posting on my other social medias, okay? We had TikToks going up, we had podcasts going up. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on TikTok if you don't already, because I don't only do YouTube, y'all. But yes, I did take the month of January off from posting on YouTube. I took that time to kind of you know, work on some things behind the scenes. I just kind of wanted to vlog today, give you guys a bit of a life update, tell you guys what I have planned for this year, 2022. So yeah, come along with me for my day. Bougie's life update is that he is still big and bad. It seems like he is still getting bigger every day. He is two years old and he's a ragdoll cat, by the way. And ragdolls, boy ragdolls especially, tend to get really big. So I think he might still be growing. He's a big fat kitty boy. And I am really wanting to get another cat. Wouldn't it be so cute if I had like a little black cat, black and white? bougie and like it could be bad and bougie <laughs> or bougie and Susie. <laughs> I don't know. I want to get like a black girl cat to be bougie's sister. So stay tuned to see if we get another cat. That might be one of the first like new things of the new year. Today is Friday, but Zaya is actually here home from school because um, there was a COVID case at her school and this has been something that has been happening over the past couple of weeks. Somebody, either a student or a teacher, will test positive and then they have to like shut that class down, shut the school down, miss a couple of days of school because of it. Um, a lot of schools right now are going through tough times because they're short staffed. Teachers are getting sick, kids are getting sick. Like it's just been a lot of hoopla with all of this and it's crazy to think that it is now 2022 and this is still going on and it's still this much of a problem. Problem. It's really sad, honestly, kind of scary still. And so yeah, that's what's going on today. Woke up this morning with a text from her teacher being like, just kidding, don't come to school today. And I was like, oh, okay. So it's just been kind of crazy having to play everything by ear like that because you never know when like somebody is gonna test positive or whatever or something like that's gonna happen. But yeah, so Zaya gets a day off from school today. Not much has changed with my coffee routine for 2022. I'm still doing the same morning routine, pouring my creamer into my frother. We live for the froth. If you guys haven't tried this yet, as many times as I have told you about it, you gotta try it. I have um, this and like all my stuff linked in my description box. If you guys wanna check it out, I always have like all my favorite stuff linked for you guys. I'm trying to grow my hair out. That's why I have this protective style in. I've had these faux locks in for like three weeks now and I'll probably keep them in for another week and then move on to another protective style after that because I am trying to grow my hair out. We are done with the finger waves stage officially for now. My hair right now is probably about like an afro like that. And I wanna get to like bob length so I can like rock a little bob and just to have enough hair to do a ponytail. Cause once you have enough hair to do a ponytail, there's a lot that you can do. Y'all know me, I always switch back and forth. Cut my hair off, grow it out, cut it off, grow it out, cut it off, grow it out. So we are gonna grow it out for a little bit and then I'm probably gonna cut it off again. I literally drink this every morning. It's so addicting. Once you go froth, you never go back. <laughs> Are you happy to have a day off from school? <laughs> Another day off, because this already happened the other day too. <laughs> Step here. Grammy is asking me how tall you are, and I realize that I have no idea. So here's another life update. Zaya is officially, put your foot like on top of that little thing, hold it down. This is not a very accurate way of measuring. Look straight ahead, straight, straight, straight. Just under four feet. Yeah, three foot 11. 
Zaya is officially three foot 11. She's five years old. She's in kindergarten. I mean, you've been like 100% fluent in Spanish for a long time. That's not really new. You've been fluent since you were like two, but you speak Spanish. You're learning addition, subtraction. We have to um, make the Christmas tree, but following the letters. And then this one about testing. So that's subtraction. Things that we're thankful for on Thanksgiving. Things that you're thankful for. Try to make a big ice cream cone. Spanish sentences. What is this? Do you know what this says? No. <laughs> Let's see. I'm trying to get to some of your reading work. Spanish handwriting. Por la mañana me gusta correr. What does that mean? Por la mañana me gusta correr. They like to run. Después de dormir, voy a la escuela. After I sleep, I'm gonna go to my school. En la escuela, me gusta jugar. And what does that mean? At school, I like to play. Very good. Learning las mascotas. Addition, subtraction, counting cubes, all types of stuff. Zaya is upstairs playing. I am um, working on some stuff for my podcast. I guess that's another kind of life update. I am still doing my podcast. I know that, you know, I started it last year. I was very sporadic with it. Not my baby here is just just doing their own thing. But yeah, I started it last year. I was very sporadic with it. I wasn't really posting a lot or like consistently, but kind of the whole thing with my podcast is I want it to just be something fun and not stressful and not feel obligated. Like I have to post once a week. You know what I mean? I have enough of that in my life already. So I'm kind of just letting myself go easy with it. Letting myself just post whenever I want to. I did um, recently post another episode and I'm trying to get like a little bit more consistent with it. So definitely, uh, check out my podcast. It's on all the podcast streaming platforms. It's also on YouTube. I have a separate YouTube channel for it. Best thing to do is just follow, subscribe so that you can be updated whenever I do post because I post so sporadically. So I do everything for my podcast myself. I mean, it's not too intensive. I have my little setup in my glam room, which, you know, looks super cute from here. But when you go into my actual glam room, it's a bit of a mess. This is what you don't see. This, this is just, I really should probably clean this room today, but this is my little podcast studio, basically this little pile of equipment, put it on this table, I shoot my podcast, and then I uh, put the audio file together, upload it to all the streaming platforms, and then I make sure that the video is um, kind of edited together, add the little intro, add the little graphics. Fun fact, my little sister Maya made that intro graphic for me, that animation. She animated that for me from scratch because she went to school for animation, fun fact. And then I have an Instagram account for it where I like promote it on Instagram and I put together little clips and little graphics for Instagram. So it's, a, I mean, it's a whole shebang. It's a whole shebang, even though it is like a little side hobby, it still takes a good bit of effort and time. Uh, but I'm enjoying it, I'm having fun with it. It's kind of refreshing to do something a little bit different outside of my normal content. So hopefully you guys are enjoying it. And like I said, this year, 2022, I wanna keep going with it. I wanna do it more consistently. I wanna actually get into having guests on my podcast, because that's one thing that I said from the beginning that I wanted to have other people on with me to have conversations definitely gonna have guests this year that's one of my main goals with it just got some packages which reminds me I'm really kind of getting behind on opening packages and doing giveaways and stuff normally that is a job for Maya she helps kind of organize the mail bring in the packages put together the giveaways and all that stuff uh, because she has been acting as my virtual assistant, but also my personal assistant. But then I told you guys last year at one point that she was not gonna be my personal assistant anymore because she moved out of the country. Then she moved back into the country, but she's still not gonna be working in person because she is just like, you know, she's on to other things. Like she's still gonna be my virtual assistant so she can do things for me like through the internet, but not coming to my house all the time doing physical things like opening packages. So I am still 
on the hunt for a personal assistant, somebody who is going to come to my house on a regular basis and help me with hands-on tasks. And I still have not um, found some. Granted, I haven't been like looking very hard because it's honestly a scary thing for me to even think about having some person who's not my family member. <laughs> Cause I've either had my mom helping me with stuff or my sister or like a friend. I've never, well, no, I take that back. I did test out having like a stranger and it just didn't work out and it just didn't last very long. So I'm just back in this space where it's like, I know I need to expand my team. I know I need to hire more people. I know I need to trust more people. I know I need to get a personal assistant, but it's just hard to trust people. So that's another life update. I'm in the process of trying to interview people for that, as well as like a nanny babysitter situation. Cause Zaya has never, ever, 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 ever had a nanny or a babysitter. She has never been watched by anyone other than me or a close family member. Like it's usually me or it's my parents. Never hired a babysitter, nothing like that. And while I am um, lucky that I have my parents close by and they're usually available, they're not always available and they're not gonna always be available. So I know I need to like, it's, it's like something good to have for emergencies. You know what I mean? You need to have somebody else that you can trust to watch your kids if you ever need it. So. That's something that I'm working on, like interviewing people for. Um, it's just really hard because it's hard to trust people. Trust people coming inside your house, trust people with your kids, trust people with your personal information. I don't know, y'all, I just don't know. But hopefully I find someone soon. Hopefully it can maybe be the same person to play both roles. We will have to see. I'm about to heat up my leftovers from last night. We had HelloFresh. I made this recipe, the sweet chili pork bowls, and it was really good. And guess what? Zaya ate it. Zaya willingly and completely ate this. And she is extremely picky. So that's really, really saying something. Um, but yeah, I made this last night for dinner. Roll the clips. For those of you guys who don't know, HelloFresh is America's number one meal kit where you get fresh, pre-portioned ingredients delivered straight to your door. You can cut back on your trips to the grocery store, cut back on meal prep time, and just overall save time and save yourself the stress. They offer a wide variety of quick and easy recipes, including 20 minute meals. And the recipes are delicious. They have more five-star reviews than any other meal kit. They source fresh produce directly from farmers, and there's so many recipes to choose from, whether it be family friendly, fit and wholesome, pescatarian, veggie, there's so many options. Plus HelloFresh can help you eat more sustainably. The pre-portioned ingredients means that there's less prep for you, but also less wasted food. And HelloFresh can help you reach your goals. I know coming into the new year, a lot of people are aiming to eat more home cooked meals, eat out less, and just make healthier choices. These HelloFresh meals can definitely help you regain control over your food choices. Plus I think it's a really cute date night idea with Valentine's Day coming up, why not skip the overcrowded, overpriced restaurants and just stay in and have fun cooking together? And I have a promo code for you guys. Just go to HelloFresh.com and use code Ravenly16 for up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. That's HelloFresh.com. Use code Ravenly16 for up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. So yeah, y'all definitely check out HelloFresh if you haven't already. Comes in super clutch, the food is super good. And I have that discount for you guys. All the info will be in the description box, like I said. So I'm just gonna heat up these leftovers for my lunch. Zaya already ate lunch today. She did have dino nuggets, <laughs> not gonna lie. We are still working through her overall pickiness. So it's a balance between her safe foods and still trying to incorporate new foods. And that's another big goal of mine for this year is to just really focus in on that because what you eat is super important for your overall like health, like even your mental health and like kids behavior can sometimes be linked to what they eat. So that's something I really, really want to focus on for Zaya this year. You guys always ask me about it. Like, is Zaya still picky? Like, what are you doing about it? Asking for tips and advice. And I just honestly haven't had that much advice to give to y'all because I don't feel like I'm like an expert on it yet or like I've fully even gotten through it yet. But that's definitely something, like I said, I want to 
focus on this year. Okay, so another life update is the house. I just posted a home decor update video that was my upload before this video. So if you have not seen that home decor update, definitely go watch it. I go into full detail about everything that is um, new around the house, especially the pool in the backyard. Um, so if you wanna see how the pool is coming along, definitely go watch that video. Everything else in the house is like, kind of just the same stuff rearranged. Like I kind of rearranged this little table here and here too. And I actually centered it on the wall like y'all were begging me to do the first time. I hung up the canvas cause the canvas was just sitting on top of the table this whole time. Switched up some of the little things here. I'm gonna add some different stuff there, but just kind of zhuzhing up things like that around the house. And then the pool, they're actually out there working on it today. They're doing the irrigation system. They had to redo all the sprinkler system. I don't know if you can see. I'm scared to go out there because I don't want to go out there and vlog when they're out there working because <laughs> I'm shy. But um, yeah, they had to completely redo my sprinkler system for obvious reasons since they just did construction in the whole year. Yard. So the pool itself is like almost done. The surrounding patios are like almost done. Still need to rip out this outdoor kitchen. I mean, there's actually still a, a pretty good amount of work to be done back here. Then you have the landscaping, then you have, there's still several steps actually, but if you wanna see how it's looking right now, like I said, go watch that other video. I also got crafty and I took some of Zaya's um, sidewalk chalk and I drew out the dimensions of the couch that I think I wanna get because I'm replacing this stuff. So I looked up the dimensions online and like drew it out so I could see. I have all of my outdoor furniture picked out. Like I wanna get a couch, coffee table, table and chairs for the outdoor dining area, the chaise lounges so you can lay out there and tan, some other chairs. I think like 12 or 13 pieces of furniture total that I wanna buy for my backyard. And guess where it's from? Guess where, the, at least the furniture that I think I'm gonna buy, guess where it's from? Restoration hardware. You can only imagine 12 to 13 pieces of furniture from Restoration Hardware purchased all at once. Ask me if I've placed that order yet. No. Ask me if I will ever place that order. I will probably sit and think about it for the next five years and then finally decide to order it like I do with everything else. <sighs> no, new year, new me. New year, new me. I'ma get what I deserve. If I see something and I like it and I know I deserve it and I know I want it, I'm just gonna buy it. No more waiting and thinking for an entire year before I buy the things that I know that I deserve. Having said that, I think I'm gonna order the furniture pretty soon and just bite the bullet. In the meanwhile, I've also been working on my office. Uh, kind of, sort of. I uh, got my couch on the way and something else that just came in like yesterday that I didn't get to show y'all in the last video are these prints that I ordered online from designio.com. They're just like printed pieces of paper that I <laughs> ordered. I, I After I got them in, I was like, I probably could have just printed out pictures on my printer, but I don't know. This is supposed to be like a little bit higher quality. So I got this one. I got a flamingo. I got this one. And I got some jellyfish and a naked lady. And I've had these frames for like a year. They're from Ikea and they've just been sitting here waiting to have something to go inside. So is this even big enough? I thought I got the right size. Uh, like put that in there and then it's gonna go on this wall. I'll have my pink couch and then like a gallery wall. So please hold. <laughs> because I can. And jellyfish, this one's really pretty. Like the true reason why I got the flamingo and the jellyfish, because I like animals and I think flamingos and jellyfishes are cool, but also it's just the color palette of the images 
goes with the color palette of my office. Pink flamingo, blue water. This has like pinks and blues and just colors that I like and that I'm trying to incorporate in the room. So I just thought these would be cool in these frames. I think they turned out well. Now I just have to get frames for the other three prints and then I wanna get extra stuff on top of that too because I want it to be a full gallery wall. Okay y'all, so we last spoke on Friday. Zaya was home from school, all that jazz. Last thing that I filmed on Friday is that we went to the store to pick up a few things. I needed to get some containers for in here in the garage and I had every intention on uh, spending the rest of my Friday organizing my garage and doing some other things, but then I started my cycle and I did not feel good. So I did not vlog for the rest of Friday or yesterday, which was Saturday. So now today is Sunday and I'm gonna just finish off the vlog today because I had to give myself a little bit of downtime. But I'm back, it's a new day. And like I said, I got these containers because I am trying to revamp my garage a little bit. Mm, mm -hmm. This side, it's not looking too, too bad. I already started cleaning up that side. And as you can see, I got two new um, sets of these metal shelves to go over here, which I already had three of them on this side, mostly holding Christmas decorations and some other stuff. But then if you look down on the floor, yeah, there is just a bunch of junk in here. Like there's just so much stuff piled up over here. And so I need to go through this stuff, organize it, properly place it into bins, kind of zhuzh up this side as well. I just, this has been sitting like this for a very, very, very long time and it's really starting to bother me. So really wanted to carve out some time today to at least get started with some of this because um, I don't know if you guys saw my Christmas decorations from you know, a couple months ago, I did a whole new theme, so I bought all new stuff and I made a bunch of stuff, so that definitely added on to everything that I need to store in here. And then I also just recently ordered a bunch of stuff to prepare for the next possible winter storm. Last year, last February, I think it was in February, we had that crazy like snow apocalypse, crazy like never before seen winter storm here and like our power went out, my gas went out, we had no heat, no electricity, no running water for a whole week and it was really scary and we had never experienced anything like that living here. And they're saying that that could possibly happen again this year and it's almost about to be February. So I wanted to make sure before February that I was prepared because last time we weren't expecting it and we were not prepared with really any type of emergency equipment for something like that. So I ordered some stuff just in case. Fingers crossed that it just doesn't happen and it just doesn't get that bad this year because it might not, but you know, just want to be prepared. I got like heated blankets. I got two of those. I also got these plant covers and I actually already had to use them the other day. That's why they're out like this. But they're just like pieces of cloth that you drape over your landscaping to protect your plants from the cold. So I need to fold these up and put them in a bin. We've got fire logs. I also got these string lights, which are like patio lights, like Christmas lights. But the purpose of these is to actually string them around your plants to create a source of heat basically. And then you put the plant covers on top. It's like a little hack that my mom saw online. So these are not for decoration, although I could use them for decoration too, but this is just to create like a little heat lamp situation for my plant. So I got a couple packs of those. Then I got this big, thick moving blanket, which I had a smaller one over here. It's just like this. Um, you normally wrap this around stuff to protect stuff while you're moving or use it to slide stuff around, but it's a nice thick kind of like weatherproof material. So another hack that we saw is to use the big moving blankets like that to wrap around stuff that you wanna keep insulated outdoors. So that's gonna be for my pool equipment because I'm gonna have that whole little station of pool equipment so I can at least drape that over to kind of protect it from snow and frost. I also got, where is it? Here it is. This little thing, I have two of these which I did already have to use. These are faucet covers, you slide them over your outdoor like water hose faucets and tighten it up to keep those insulated so that 
your pipes don't freeze and stuff like that. And then yeah, these are the lights I was talking about. Oh, and I do also have a little space heater, this little space heater that I got. So yeah, just stuff like that that I've been trying to buy and stock up on, but I wanna have it all like properly stored away in like a little emergency bin. So if anything happens, I can just grab the bin, start grabbing stuff, be prepared. Not to mention the rest of this just junk. Like who even knows what the heck all this stuff is that needs to be organized. <laughs> I did actually already do a garage organizing video. That was a while back though. That's when I kind of organized that. No, I did both sides because I had like a whole setup over here. I'm just kind of needing to change it around now. But yeah, if you haven't seen that initial video of when I first kind of set up my garage, definitely check that out. But now it is just time to upgrade and add to it because it just seems like with every passing week of me living in this house, things need to be like expanded, updated. We need more shelves, more storage, change this, add that, do this, do that. It's like a never ending process of organizing and updating the house. I used to have a bunch of hooks on this wall where I could like hang stuff, but they actually were like falling out of the wall and not really working too well anyway. And I mostly need this type of storage versus hanging storage. We're gonna have a pool where we can actually use floaties like this. How exciting. This is actually way too small. This is a toddler floaty. Like you literally have to be maximum three years old to fit into this. So I don't know why I still have it. But yeah, that's another reason why I really wanna get my garage fully in order because with having a pool, you have like extra stuff that kind of goes with the pool. So I'm definitely gonna need to have proper organization and storage for all of our like floaties and pool stuff. And I just had so much junk in here. There just wasn't space for anything else. I should really sell these chairs. I don't want to because I just really like them. I think they're super cool, but they don't, I don't have a space for them anywhere in my house. And they're kind of heavy to be like moving in and out just for entertaining. So I really need to sell them because they're really not serving much of a purpose in this household. But I like them. They're from my old townhouse. These were my dining room chairs before I moved into this house. If you're in the um, Austin area, hit me up if you want to buy these chairs. <laughs> Pick up only. Pick up only in the Austin area. Don't be hitting me up from Chicago talking about I want them. How am I going? How am I gonna mail these to you in Chicago? Y'all always do that. <laughs> but seriously, if you're in the Austin area and you want these chairs, seriously, hit me up. I'm trying to keep this side of the garage to where you can actually park a car here. I don't personally need to park a car here because I only have one car, but when I have people over, especially people staying over, I want to allow them to actually park inside my garage and not have to leave their car outside. Even though technically, since I only have one car, I could just fill up this whole side with stuff. I would prefer to have it be a parking spot. Also because when I'm doing like, arts and crafts and stuff like that. I like to have this open area to like lay out stuff to spray paint and like do stuff. So I don't wanna just fill up this whole side with junk. I wanna leave it open and only just have it on the wall. Heated blanket, space heater, fire lock. So need to keep warm, go to this box. Also for the outdoor insulation kit, I'm gonna put the faucet insulators. I actually have these other two types of faucet insulator thingies as well. That's so kind of the outdoor kit, heating kit, moving blankets, and then that's all I've got for now. There's definitely a lot more supplies that you should have on hand for a winter storm like that. Not just this stuff, obviously. I mean, obviously you wanna have water, you want to have non-perishable food, you want to have the right type of clothing and other emergency, you know, first aid stuff, flashlights, all that type of stuff, which I do have inside the house. But as long as I have the basics, I mean, we made it through last time with no type of nothing. So <laughs> this is definitely better than that, at least for starters. So I never really had a designated 
spot for gardening stuff and of course didn't have the pool stuff yet so this can be like the pool shelf the gardening shelf now we've got this extra space so these are um some floaties that my older sister got us for christmas giant unicorn so crazy that i am gonna have a pool you guys can you believe it we must have a pool in our own backyard. In our own backyard. <laughs> a giant blow up beach ball that I just found. I don't even know where this came from. But when our pool is done, we gonna be ready. Okay, so getting this stuff put away on these new shelves over here actually helped quite a bit with clearing out some of the stuff that was on the floor over here. We've got like this whole chunk cleared out. I have all these paint cans, which are uh, leftover paint from housework. You know, we keep it just in case we need to do touch-ups and stuff like that. Um, and then I have more over here and then I have spray paint and just all paint related things kind of consolidated over here. But I think I'm going to move it to the other side because I want all three of these shelving units to be all holiday. So we've got Christmas accounted for, this is all Christmas, but then we've got Halloween stuff just scattered around, Easter, birthday. I'm gonna have this be like Halloween, Easter, birthday, general holiday entertaining stuff. So it'll all be like together. And then all the kind of like household, home improvement, paint, gardening, all that stuff will be on that side. So I'm gonna start moving all these paint buckets to the other side. Oh, speaking of home improvements, another life update, which I did kind of already tell y'all about in my previous video, the home decor update video, but in case you missed it, I'm gonna be buying another house. <sighs> yes. <laughs> It's exhausting to even think about that right now. Cause as you can see, I'm barely keeping up with what it takes to own this house. But I am wanting to really get into owning investment properties, possibly flipping houses, getting some properties that I can fix up and then rent out and just kind of get into real estate, you know, as an investment and as something to do because it is something that I'm interested in. The process of remodeling and kind of redoing the design of the house a little bit. Although it's been frustrating with my house, I've always been interested in um, home design, home decor, anything like that. So now that I'm sort of kind of getting to the end of the process of doing my house, I feel somewhat kind of ready to maybe take what I've learned and put that into investment properties. While I'm still trying to get my house together, I've been looking into that. I am gonna be vlogging the whole entire process of, you know, looking for the houses, buying the house, fixing up the houses, like just the whole entire process of everything. Definitely stay tuned for that. Obviously haven't bought anything yet, but I am scheduled to go look at houses in the next couple of days. So the process is, gonna be moving pretty soon. So that's another reason why I'm kind of really trying to like kick it into high gear and get my house in order because I don't want to be trying to necessarily do both at the same time, like have a whole bunch of unfinished projects at my own house and then be working on projects at the rental properties at the same time. That just sounds like a huge headache. So as many things as I can get out of the way and get done at my house first, before I buy my first property, I feel like that's gonna be for the best. So that's why I'm like trying to do stuff like this and just trying to tie up all the loose ends around my house. If you guys saw my home decor update video, you know that there's still like a lot to do, but hopefully it's gonna come together soon. Okay, here's where I'm gonna stop for today. I'm not done, but I'm tired. Um, definitely an improvement. So just imagine this is all just recycling trash. So imagine that's gone. This stuff is stuff I'm trying to get rid of, sell, give away. So like this whole pile right here is gonna be gone. I'm also trying to sell this stroller. It's a nice uh, city mini. Cause Zaya is too big for a stroller. Oh my gosh. 
life update. Zaya is too big for a stroller. So hit me up if you want any of this stuff. But yeah, that's gonna be gone. All this is gonna be gone. These big boxes are my Christmas trees. So that just stays like that. This is my um, old light fixture from my office. I'm trying to get rid of that. I'm just gonna like donate it. But then I got my two new shelves, starting to get stuff on those. This area is a little bit more consolidated, looking decent. And then over here on the other side, this is where we still have work to do because I still have this stuff that I need to go through and organize, junk that I need to get rid of. And then, like I said, I wanna have this all be like holiday stuff. Also life update, Zaya is too big for her tricycle. I think I'm gonna give that to my niece. She's actually probably too big for this car too now. It's been a long time since she's ridden in that. Probably gonna give those two things to my niece. Zaya has her big girl bike. She just got this for Christmas and um, we still need to practice riding it and get to the point where she doesn't need training wheels. So yeah, upgrade. Oh my gosh, she's upgrading from the baby tricycle and the little electric car to a big girl bike. Time flies. Okay, so today is actually my dad's birthday. So we're going out to dinner to celebrate. Um, I literally had to get dressed in like seven minutes because, because I had to wash and style Zaya's hair first and that took up all the time. So my look is very, very rushed and basic. I threw on two centimeters of makeup. Try to slick my edges, black bodysuit, brown cardigan, these leggings that I've had forever, these boots that I just bought. Simple little dinner look. So Zaya's outfit, I just got her this top um, from Walmart. And then I think these leggings are probably also from Walmart or Target. These shoes, Grammy got those for you. I don't know where they're from. Little denim jacket if she gets cold. But check out her jewelry. This is actually Kendra Scott jewelry, very fancy. I don't know if it was made for kids or what, but I just thought the beading was really cute and playful for her to wear. I got it in PR, but I thought it would be cuter on her. And a little matching necklace. And these are Zaya's first like hoop or you know bigger earrings. She's only ever worn little tiny studs before. So those are kind of her first like real big girl earrings. And I just feel like she's really looking grown right now. She's really looking like a big girl. No more baby Zaya, no more toddler Zaya. How old are you? Five. And pretty soon you're gonna be? Six. You're losing teeth, your hair is long, you're wearing real jewelry, you're super tall, you're almost four feet tall. It's crazy. But of course we are running late for dinner so we have to run out the door to meet up with my parents and my siblings to celebrate my dad. So I'm gonna end this vlog here. Hope you guys enjoy kind of spending our weekend with us and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye.